Have you wondered who owns the biggest fund in the world and what does it invest in? No, it's not Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. In fact, all these wealth funds are much bigger than Berkshire. They are sovereign wealth funds that invest with a nation's wealth. The title of the biggest wealth fund actually goes to Norway Government Pension Fund Global, with assets of $1 trillion assets under its management. They are the sovereign wealth fund ran by the Norwegian government. A quick check on Norwegian population tells us that it has a population of 5.368 million people, and this means that each Norwegian citizen is entitled to a mouth watering 237,000 US dollars. However, there is an important distinction that needs to be made. While the money is held by the country's reserve and is invested, the Norway Government Pension Fund Global is different from other national pension funds. The main difference is that its money belongs to the state, whereas the money in pension funds is eventually paid out to the people. This model is similar to sovereign wealth funds in the Middle East, where they invest their windfall gained from the oil boom in the mid 20th century. Norway has experienced economic surpluses since the development of its hydrocarbon resources in the 70s. This reality, coupled with the desire to mitigate volatility stemming from fluctuating oil prices, motivated the creation of a sovereign wealth fund. The Government Pension Fund of Norway comprises two entirely separate entities, the Government Pension Fund Global and the Government Pension Fund Norway. The little brother, the Government Pension Fund Norway, is smaller and was established in 1967 as a type of national insurance fund. It is managed separately from the oil fund and is limited to domestic and Scandinavian investments and is therefore a key stockholder in many large Norwegian companies, predominantly via the Oslo Stock Exchange. Meanwhile, its bigger brother, the Government Pension Fund Global, is also known as the oil fund, is managed by Norges Bank Investment Management. It was established in 1990 to invest parts of the large surplus generated by the Norwegian petroleum sector. These funds come mainly from taxes of companies, payment for licenses to explore for oil, and dividends from state-owned petroleum refining company Equinor. Of its assets, 70.8% were equities, 26.5% were in fixed income investments, and the rest 2.7% were in unlisted real estate. 39.8% of their asset has US exposure, and 23.6% and 14.6% are exposed to financial and technology sectors respectively. In 2008 Great Recession, Norway Wealth Fund used the global sell-off to buy up cheap stocks. In the first quarter of 2009, the fund bought billions of dollars worth of cheap stocks, laying the foundation of its spectacular growth during the decade-long rally that followed. In last year alone, it made gains of close to $53 billion thanks to the rally in US stocks. If you are looking for ideas to invest, please pay attention now. These are some of the fund's biggest equity holdings. The list includes renowned tech giants like Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon and Facebook, Swiss food giant Nestle and big healthcare companies in Swiss and US, oil giant Shao, big China tech companies like Alibaba and Tencent, Taiwan semiconductors and Samsung, and companies in the financial industries like Berkshire and JP Morgan. However, this time during the ongoing coronavirus saga, the fund is having a vastly different fortune. With heavy equity exposure, the fund is incurring steep losses on its portfolio. To make matters worse, Norway is about to make history as it prepares to liquidate assets from its sovereign wealth fund to cover government withdrawal. Over the years, the fund is also facing increasing political pressure questioning whether the country should use more of the petroleum revenues for the state budget instead of saving the funds for the future, and also whether the high level of exposure 70% in highly volatile stock market is financially safe. Some might argue that the high diversification and extreme long-term nature of the investments will dilute the risk and that the state will lose considerable amount of money if it does not invest enough in the stock market. What are your thoughts on the Government Pension Fund of Norway and sovereign wealth funds in general? Do you think they are necessary for a country's financial growth? Share with us your thoughts under the comment section. 
If you have not checked out our previous video on how a simple stock strategy can change the way you analyze stock, please click on it now. If you enjoy our content, please click on the like and subscribe button. We really do need subscribers like yourself to keep the channel going. Thank you.